Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your daily message for all zodiac signs for Tuesday the 7th of April 2020. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For today's reading, I am using the Green Witch Tarot by Anne Mora. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. What wonderful message Spirit has for us for today. Of course, we are approaching our full moon on the 8th. Uh, full moons, things being revealed to you, uh, illuminated to you, or um, secrets revealed. Maybe, you know, things have never been quite as they seem, but... Um, Oh, skeletons coming out of the closet. <laughs> OK, here we go. What is the message for my wonderful friends from Spirit? For Tuesday the 7th, thank you. of April 2020. What do my friends need to know? From the Green Witch Tarot. Thank you. Okay, your cards are the Four of a Thames, Followed by the King of Chalices. Oh, and followed by the King of Pentacles. Um, straight away, I am um, I'm feeling that you are going to be given some advice on uh, mastery today, my friends. OK, your first card is the Four of a Thames. Um, for that wonderful number of structure, security, um, foundation in the physical. A Thames, this is swords, this is air energy. In this illustration, um, I really feel that the person the, uh, uh, here is um, in a state of contemplation. Um, that state where we contemplate our navel. Um, navel navigation um, this is kind of contemplating next steps and as yesterday we were following the call we were um, being asked to reflect on past events being asked to face up to our shadow side um, and air energy is more of um, our thinking and our way of thinking um, I'm really feeling that you are starting to learn to navigate your thoughts, um, orientate also, I'm hearing, uh, your thoughts to uh, a more positive direction. Um, you are doing this because you have this wonderful new understanding that um, the past is the past. You can do nothing to change it and all you can do is forgive it. Uh, let it go um, and come from this uh, a new perspective the future um, well you can orientate uh, whichever way it's your choice you get to choose the outcome um, so I'm really hearing the message from spirit use this time uh, that we have been given in this situation that's kind of been thrust upon us uh, use it wisely to um, navigate to orientate your way of thinking um, to one of a, a positive state to one of um, love joy happiness harmony I'm getting that because I am looking at nature I am feeling the green um, and I'm feeling the green as being whole wholehearted <clears throat> And also I feel that this character really dressed in earthy colours um, and of course he's lying down on earth. So um, 
he is grounding himself in his thoughts, in his way of thinking. Um, he is orientating his thoughts to a more positive way of thinking. And I feel that this is why these two kings have come afterwards. We have king of chalices, uh, water. This is emotion. So I'm seeing this water here in the background. This is the king energy. Uh, and I've said lying in nature, pentacles, earth. So this is the earth energy. Um, so I'm truly feeling that you are today going to become masters of your emotions. Uh, emotions sometimes can drive your thoughts. So we had it was okay okay to feel angry at situations but it's all about letting it go it's all about orientating and navigating our thoughts to better ways of thinking a uh, king of chalices uh, a wonderful energy well kings collectively they are um, accomplished they are successful uh, they are authority so this is about setting your own healthy boundaries and limits being your own authority policing yourself I am hearing um, they are power uh, power coming the, from this empowerment they are um, responsible because they are responsible for their kingdom and the subjects in their kingdom so there's a real um, Oh, I'm hearing diplomatic. There's a kind of a real diplomatic energy. Um, kings collectively are air. Uh, and so we are missing kind of um, air energy. Well, we've got the air energy here with this of Thames. Um, so I'm feeling that this is you learning this mastery of your thoughts here. Um, and you are learning to be this air energy. And I always think of the king of swords as being kind of firm but fair. Um, and I feel that this is you kind of getting hold of yourself, being, um, you know, it's kind of you're having a word with yourself. You are cancelling yourself. You are talking to yourself. You are telling yourself, come on, this isn't the way to be. Uh, the way to be is more like the King of Cups. Again, uh, this is Scorpio energy. And we had Scorpio, uh, Pluto uh, in the middle yesterday. Um, so I'm feeling that this... Um, Scorpio energy, death of the old, hello to the new, um, really come along to help you. And the king of chalices is also Scorpio. So this energy is one of empathy. This is one of kindness, loving, caring, giving. This is generosity. This is community spirit. This is real um, whole heartfelt energy where... Um, I'm feeling that what the king is thinking, he is also feeling. So his actions are coming from his thoughts and feelings all matching. I'm loving that he is wearing this wonderful blue. Um, blue is... Um, your throat chakra it is speaking your truth it is a uh, loyalty it's deep trust and faith it's wisdom um it's also confidence it's calmness it's peace um so you finding calm and peace from communicating um positively oh okay so your next energy to master today, my friends, is the King of Pentacles. Um, this is a real practical. This is real down to earth energy. This is um, for me, the King of Pentacles, he really understands um, the mystery and the magic. Um, he's dressed in purple. So this is representing the crown chakra. <clears throat> The crown chakra or purple is it's royalty. It is nobility. So this is you um, having trust, um, a deep faith in your connection with the divine because you are this wonderful um, groundedness where you are here in nature. But your uh, thoughts are um, a divine way of thinking. Wow got there it's a divine way of thinking my friends um this is you having deep devotion uh deep devotion for yourself deep devotion for your uh fellow um uh human uh humankind um and i'm really feeling that this is <sighs> 
this is where you're you're really finding your empowerment is coming from understanding that even these kings although they are kingly um they're not doing it away as a, in a way of, of of feeling that they are powerful over others but rather that they are have been given an empowerment they are um, enlightened beings they are masters um but they are willing to um share that mastery with you to help you become enlightened yourselves to help you become empowered um there is no pride or grandeur um i am hearing with these two kings here um they are your true connection here um and i'm feeling the the, the number three of kind of mind body and spirit energy um all here my friends Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay. <clears throat> Next we will have Witch's Wisdom, Barbara Mickle John Free, Flavia Kate Peters. Oh. And I'm also just hearing, you know, blue. I'm seeing the blue here, the blue of the lake and the sky. Uh, this king of chalices in blue and this wonderful blue, heaven. Uh, and this is kind of the connection between you and heaven. Wow. What is the message for my wonderful friends from spirit? Thank you. let me lower this camera and your witch's wisdom is wow in bulk awakening this is more of this wake up energy i've been feeling this awakening for uh, those of you who are already been on this journey are already kind of illuminated enlightened um i really felt yesterday's reading you were ready to go even deeper and further up with with that journey um others it's almost like i feel it's almost like you're <sighs> Uh, this awakening's happening anyway, but I, it's almost like it, it, some of you need to be sort of dragged kicking and screaming almost. Um, and I do feel that that was the energy of uh, the call yesterday of uh, Gabriel blowing his horn like in your ear really loud and telling you to wake up. So this is more of this. Um, I'm seeing the crocuses, this wonderful shade of um, purple again uh this is representing for me with the um the white deer in the background the hind spirit this is again more of your connection with spirit with the divine wow walking with spirit i am hearing wow walking with spirit some of you okay <clears throat> I'm looking for awakening and I should be looking for in bulk. Sorry, my friends. <laughs> OK, in bulk. New desires are presenting themselves to you as you awaken to opportunities that were once unfamiliar to you. These beckon you now to explore as you become more in tune with the magic and mystery of nature. As you become aware of this awakening, you will begin to notice synchronicities such as chance meetings with like-minded people or animals who cross your path. The ancient mystics worked with the cycle of nature and recognised that when we operate in this way, we receive all that we need to survive abundantly. Everything that you are feeling is entirely natural. Your wishes and desires to powerfully, wow, evolve and to live as your authentic self have brought about these changes in you. In bulk opens new doorways for you and what no longer serves you will fall away naturally. This is an auspicious time for you are becoming truly alive and awakening the true witch within that now stirs from a deep slumber. Goddess stands in maiden form, shining through this very dawn. New fruits stir in her virgin womb. Awaken now, from winter's tomb 
I felt that yesterday with the call it was wakening to a new light of day, a new dawn. This is what's occurring, my friends. It's like, I feel for some of you it's almost like you went to sleep last night and you've woken up this morning and it's everything looks the same but everything feels completely different. You feel 